Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Javin from YourEasyFilm.com and I got some questions if I can do a tutorial about color grading or color correction and to be honest I suck hard at color grading but I can definitely show you some basics. So let's jump into the premiere. For this tutorial, I'm gonna use a video I shot for a real estate agent a couple weeks ago. We're gonna create a new sequence and drag and drop our clip into the timeline. For the color correction, I always like to use an adjustment layer, so let's create one and drag it into the timeline. Because if you have some similar shots, you don't need to edit every single one. So, we're gonna go over to video effects, scroll down for color correction, lumetri color and drag this to our adjustment layer. Make sure the adjustment layer is selected and we go over effect control panels. Scroll down to the lumetri color and we're gonna go into the section of basic correction. At first you need to know what kind of correction you want to do. If your footage is in the summer I'm pretty sure you want to have a little warmer look. If it's in the winter you want to have a colder look. And that's exactly where the temperature comes into the game. So we're gonna drag it up, the image will be way warmer, or drag it down and it will look way colder. So to avoid a little overgrade you should definitely go just up to maybe something between 10 and 15. And now we have the tint. So usually I don't really need that, but if your image is a little bit too green for example, you can definitely drag it up a little bit. Okay, next step, exposure. So personally I like to underexpose my pictures because I'll have a little bit more options in the post-production then. But also here, just be careful, maybe 0 0.2. As you can see, it will change a lot. For example, if you do 1, it's definitely too much. So we're gonna go get down to 0 0.2. Then we'll come to the contrast. I would recommend something between 15 and 20. So here we're gonna have the highlights. So I would highly recommend dragging the highlights a little bit down to not lose the blue in the sky. And now comes the shadow. So if you add a little bit more exposure you'll have the opportunity to drag the shadows a little bit down to bring a little bit more depth colors in it, but as always not too much. And now we go down to the whites and the blacks. And especially the blacks will add a little bit softness into your image. So if you drag it up too much, looks like desaturated, so I would recommend dragging this a little bit down. And okay, just to have a small look what we've created. So we're gonna go down to the curves. And here comes the fun part. I would always recommend creating a little S curve. Let the colors bounce a little bit. So the curves makes the big, big step. Okay, let's take a look what we have created. Beautiful, way better than before. We have added a little bit more depth and also a bit more colors and saturation into our image. 
It doesn't look soft anymore and it's definitely a big upgrade with just a basic color correction. Okay guys, that was a quick tutorial on how to do basic color correction. As I said in the beginning, I suck hard at color grading, so that's definitely enough for the basics. And yeah, I hope I could help you out a little bit. If I did, please leave me a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video. Peace out.